All right, so grouting. This is always a pain point, point for most people, and the installer and the end user, because grout is always the part that actually gets dirty, possibly stained, and then it's something that can really look awful if you don't do it correctly on the install part and keeping it clean. So we're gonna go over uh, you know, what my favorite grouts are, and then you know, what kind of grouts you might wanna avoid when doing a shower. So this is a basement shower, as you already know, and it's gonna take a lot of abuse. Most basement showers are kind of where, you know, if you're out at the garage working or whatever, you're coming home and you're taking a shower in the basement. So we wanna go with some of the best stuff that we can get because then it'll be stain resistant and prevent having to have any issues with it. So we're gonna go with epoxy grout and what we're gonna be using is Ardex WA. So this is an epoxy grout. I really do believe that epoxy, any type of epoxy, is probably the best type of uh, grout that you can get because it's a two-part system, you know, and it's really, not only is it adhering all the towel really well together, but it's just the chemical makeup of it is gonna prevent anything from actually absorbing into it. I think it's close to about 95 or 96% waterproof just in itself. So it's gonna be really hard for stains and different things to penetrate the actual grout. So epoxy, definitely the best also the most expensive and it also can get you in a lot of trouble as the installer if you wait too long and you don't you don't do this properly because epoxy is very unforgiving once it hardens up there's like pretty much no way to really completely remove it but it is an easy installation if you just follow the directions and do it in a timely manner so that's what i'm going to be going over today is how to go about this and make this easy for you but if you wanted to go with some other alternatives, there's our other epoxies out there, not really that much cheaper, but another great one is made by Laticrete. This is again, a two-part epoxy system. Great product. I've used, you know, thousands of square feet of tile with this. Highly, highly recommend them as well. Uh, but if you wanted to go with something a little bit less expensive, go with a pre-mix. Uh, so the one that I only really recommend these days right now is Spectralock One. A lot of the other premixes um, can be very gritty. They also can be kind of troublesome to install as far as having pinholes, which isn't a big deal. You can always fill in the, the holes later on. Um, but some of them are very, very gritty. And I always feel that if you have a gritty grout, it's going to be allow more soap scum and everything else to rest on. And it's going to cause problems. But this stuff is really a fine aggregate. It goes down to 1 16th inch grout joints. And like I said, it's pre-mixed, so you just have to open it up and start using it. Then you got your more traditional grouts. Now this, I wouldn't consider this actually traditional. This is more like a high performance grout. So FA, uh, you have Laticrete Permacolor, and then you also have like something like Prism, Custom Prism. Those are all like high performance grouts. So these, uh, you know, you add water to them, you mix them but they have a density that really gets really hard and prevents staining from happening because the molecules are so tightly bound that they prevent something from going in there. So this is a lot more affordable. This is, I could probably just use one bag of this and do all of this grouting. It probably cost me 40, 50 bucks. So you're talking about a quarter of the cost, but the great thing about the high performance grouts, they also don't, do not need sealed. You have the option to seal them as well, but they really are, uh, you know, created so that you don't have to do any sealing. So this is another great choice. Used it for thousands of square feet of tile as well. Just something with, you know, high traffic or high uh, impact on dirt. I still think that the epoxy is the best way to go. And then the other one that's pretty popular is Mapei F um, CQ. So Mapei CQ, it's a premix as well. Uh, I've used quite a bit of this stuff, but I'm not exactly the hugest fan. It's just a very gritty grout. It works really easily. It's easy for the installer to use. I just think the end user on cleaning this over time is gonna be troublesome just because of the grout joints being very uh, dense. Now, when it comes to a regular traditional grout, um, you know, I really don't see the point of using that anymore. You have to seal them to keep them maintained. Sure, you'll save yourself maybe 20 bucks on a bag, uh, but the other problem is something like this, these are about, eighth inch gaps really. So you could use a sanded grout for this, but a lot of times you're gonna be wanting to use a non-sanded grout and that doesn't have quite the strength that a sanded grout is. That's why these high performances are great because they have an aggregate 
in it that may, strengthens that. But I think any type of grout that you actually have to continuously maintenance is just not going to be done. There's no homeowner that actually goes back and seals their stuff for the most part. And uh, if you have a grout that needs sealed, most likely it's going to get stained and then you're never going to be able to clean it. You'll be basically scraping out the grout to redo it. So that's kind of, you know, so really the three different types of grouts that I use is the epoxy. There's only one premix that I'm recommending right now because it's the only one I see that has a really good value, which is the Spectralock 1. And then using something like the high performance grouts. But epoxy is going to be your number one. That's what we're going to be using in this shower. So let's get to it.